Hey Glam Squad, it's Glamour Girl, and I'm here for another episode of Gossip Girl. Okay, and I mean it's Monday, so you already know it's Love and Hip Hop Miami. And uh, the beginning of the episode was kind of boring to me. I didn't really see anything I wanted to talk about. You know, it was like JoJo and her family drama. I will get to that a little bit later. But the first thing I saw that made me, you know, give a side eye was trying to make Veronica look like a fucking human being. Don't do that. Don't do that. We don't like that bitch. She knows she gotta go. Hell no. She can't stay. She gotta get away. Like, bye. I don't give a fuck if she rode to Puerto Rico to go give the people that she said was just niggas supplies for relief. I don't care. She's not human to me. Fuck her. Anyways, so that made me fucking sigh that bitch. Fuck her. We gonna get back to her in a second too. Um, so Bucky's ass, Shay for y'all who ain't petty like me and you don't know, actually call her by her government. Um, so she's talking about, when she's talking to Baby Blue, talking about, oh yeah, I have a fitness line because I lost 40 pounds. Girl, what you mean? Like, you ain't on my 600 pound life. You ain't family by the tongue, girl. You ain't out here on Celebrity Fit Club. 40 pounds, anybody can do that. Oh, well, you know, if I can do it, I know, I just want you to know you can do it too. Anybody can lose 40 pounds, sis. Like, one of my closest friends, he lost tons of weight, completely changed his lifestyle. I would go to his boot camp class because he took control of his life and, you know, completely changed everything. I'm not paying no money to go to no boot camp and you only lost 40 pounds. That's not impressive to me. I can do it on my goddamn own. Shit. Hell. And then I don't go to no boot camp and literally the first thing you say when you get into it with somebody is calling fat. Bitch, fuck you. You call baby blue fat. You call pleasure pee fat in this fucking episode. I'm not going to work out with nobody and giving them my motherfucking money and the first thing you gotta say when you get mad is you fat. Bitch, fuck you. Shit. Um, so what else? When baby blue was trying to holler at her and she was like, you trying to put me in that homie box? Yeah, nigga. And he's like, they always say that. Well, I mean it. I don't want you. He does look bloated. I know we just talked about her calling everybody fat. He looked real bloated. He he need to go to her boot camp. He looked like he was embalmed yesterday. Like, my God. Anyways. um, So, the double date. Why you show up with Pleasure P, girl? Like, I'm pretty sure there's other men in Miami. But. Um, and then when Joy brought up... um. Shay being with Scrappy or whatever, you know, I don't, of course, production made her do that. But, you know, I didn't see it as messy on her part. What I didn't like was Pleasure P being like, oh, I gotta go check that. I gotta go research on that. Y'all broke up, didn't you? Was she over there playing inch high private eye when you were over there with your fucking ex-girlfriend having conversations and, and long walks on the beach and staring gazingly into each other's eyes? No, the fuck she wasn't. Y'all broke up. Let her go. Let her fly. We are not your fucking property. This is not 1862. You can't just buy humans. The fuck is wrong with you, Pleasure P? Like, and then you ain't got enough money to act like you own me. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Humble thyself before I humble you, okay? Um, so, back to the double date. That guy Trina was with, that's actually her man now, if y'all didn't know. But if you didn't know, now you know, okay? Um, so I feel bad for JoJo because, I mean, what do you do? Like, if you go against your daddy, he gonna take away all your financial support. But if you go against your mom, like, she ain't gonna have shit. So, that's fucked up. But then on the other hand, like, I really do feel bad for her mom because men do that shit all the time. Like, I'll give you all this financial support and then I'll take it away when I don't want to be with you no more or, you know, whatever. And that's some bullshit. But, bitch, you should have pulled a Shawnee O'Neal. You should have been stacking some money to the side somewhere. Like, same with JoJo. Like, she's like, I don't want to go against my dad because, I mean, that's my dad and he's my financial support. But I don't want to go against my mom. And if I go against my mom, she's not going to have anything. Like, Jojo, aren't you, like, in your 30s, sis? Why have you not found your own stream of income at this point? I just, maybe, you know, you know, every once in a while I'm like, damn, I wish I would have had a dad. But one thing my daddy did teach me was to never rely on a nigga because I couldn't rely on him. So I've always had my own bag, okay? May the church say amen. Have your own bag, ladies, because it's important. Anyways, um, so moving on from her sad, sad shit, 
Um, so the bike ride changed Veronica, uh, but you're still racist. So I don't understand how it changed you and you're still a racist bitch. Like, anyways, I'm, I'm gonna move on from that for right now. Um, so let's see. So you're about to just go in the, the courthouse like that? Like, she thought she was about to go please her nigga. Like, girl, put on some fucking clothes. I, I love a good thought fit, but god damn, put something on. Um, so back to, um, uh, Veronica's ass. Back to Ratatouille. Um, she's talking about I turn over a new leaf, but if you turn over a new leaf, why is the first thing you come to address me about? Is some shit, some he says, she says shit. Like, why? No, you didn't turn on no new leaf, bitch. And then, like, it's just like, why are you so worried about what I had a conversation with the next bitch about? Like, come and address the issues that me and you had. Don't worry about what I said to the next bitch. Because it ain't got nothing to do with you. You shouldn't have said nothing about the next bitch. And if you didn't say nothing about the next bitch, I wouldn't have nothing to say. I can't stand a motherfucker like that. I personally may not say it to your motherfucking face. But if you come ask me about it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I said that shit. I said that shit. And the only reason I'm not going to personally say it to your face is if I don't fuck with you, I'm not around you. So I'm not going to go out of my way to be around you just to say some shit to you. Like, that's stupid. But, um... And then, you know, after a couple episodes ago when Young Hollywood actually apologized and shit like that, we gave him his class or whatever. We said we still didn't fuck with him. And this is the reason why. So as soon as they get into it, he's going to run over to fucking Veronica's ass talking about some, oh, you know how she is. Just let her be basically like making, you know, the dark skinned girl, the fucking, the black girl, you know, making her out to be the villain, making her out to be somebody who can't control her emotions or whatever, whatever. And it's just like... Really? Because this bitch really is the one who came up in here and started instigating shit. Like, Amara was cool until Veronica started popping the fuck off. But that's how it is. And that's why you can't say nigga, Veronica. Because when shit like that happens, Hollywood comes over and he takes your fucking side. He's going to sit there and try to calm your ass down. Because if that was real life and not on fucking TV, the cops would have got called and Amara's black ass would have got dragged off to jail. And then Amara would have been painted like a fucking hothead who can't control her temper in the fucking, you know, media, in court, in whatever. You can't say nigga because you have white privilege, bitch. You're white Latina. You're not after Latina. You're white Latina. Stop it. Stop it. And another thing that pisses me off about her saying nigga, I'm going back to it, I am, is you want to be in rap. You want to be in fucking rap. A black, you know, entity. Something that we cultivated and made this popular. But you're not going to respect blackness? You're not going to defend blackness? And then when black people tell you, bitch, you can't say, you want to argue with us? Entitlement. That's whiteness at its pinnacle. Bitch, you're white. You're white, ho. Like, let it let it alone. And then she was like, I wanted my music to expire people. Wasn't she talking about dick and money and, and, and pussies and that? How, what is that inspiring me to do? I mean, everybody loves a thought song, but that's not inspiring me to do a goddamn thing. Anyways, um, I think that's it, y'all. Um, fuck Hollywood. Fuck, um, Veronica. And we just gonna see what happens next week. I can't remember the damn, um preview so come back here next week and we're gonna do this shit again okay okay um follow me on twitter um i usually live tweet i did not live tweet this week because i was doing something while i was watching um twitter is at glamour girl and uh follow me on instagram at gorgeous glamour and you guys should already know how to spell glamour but for my newbies it is g-l-a-m-h-e-r i love you guys bye